How's it? Indian Cowboy, DocSports.com. Connect you on Thursday, July 7th as we get this video to you. Don't forget, we're going to do a live show tonight at 9 o'clock. was under the weather yesterday after going on their cruise. Everybody seems to catch something these days, huh? But, uh, but we will do a live show tonight at 9, and I will make sure to do a live show for you tomorrow as well at 9 o'clock. So still keeping the two live shows per week. Have your free pick winner just a second. Nice free pick winner on the Tampa Bay Rays, of course, right? Nice winner yesterday. Let me make sure they did win. I believe they won. 7-1, uh, wasn't it? Yeah, 7-1. to one. And uh, looking forward to the uh, free pick today. Uh, six unit WNBA selection today, 7-0 and in all sports for plus 3,600. Great uh, all sports run right now. 2022 baseball is now 55-25. and 25. I mean, we're at 69% in baseball for plus 12,985, and it is July 7th. Um, that's, that's pretty incredible. Um, you know, the baseball season started when? Uh, April 7th. So we've gone basically, you know, May, June, July. Um, yeah, we've gone three months in baseball for hitting 69%, and it's all documented. And I don't know if we'll do it next year. I don't know if we'll continue to do it, but we've done it for three months, and that's the track, you know, transparent track history and record, and uh, it's kind of cool. And not only that, we've won five of six years in baseball, which is difficult to do as well. WNBA back-to-back six-unit winners as well, and three straight WNBA winners. We have another six-unit selection today. We're starting to get on a run. We have not posted a winning WNBA season, so we're looking to try to make a run and try to get there. We have won three or four winning seasons in the WNBA. Football, we were number one in Doc Sports at plus 5,005. And in hockey, we posted plus 8,600, which is one of the best in Doc Sports as well. So it's been a lot of winning seasons so far. So hopefully we'll have a good day today. Hello, I'm Indian Cowboy. This is Doc Sports. Indian Cowboy has been around for 18 years and seven months. And Doc Sports has been around for 52 years, been around a long time. How this works, our best selections are at DocSports.com. Under Indian Cowboy, a lot of other great statisticians and handicappers there. I have a, a doctorate and a master's in biostatistics. And... Um, our best selections are over at DocSports under IC, but we also do a YouTube premium uh, uh, channel under the link below, just $20, and you get two extra selections every single day, including a live show twice a week as well. Uh, you get to hang out with me. It's a recorded podcast. You get to re-listen to it in the morning. 100 extra selections a week, which is pretty awesome. And uh, and yeah, if you want even more content, hop onto our Twitter. We put a lot, we put uh, plenty of extra free picks out there, our consensus polls, our hot takes on sports, uh, jokes, our leans um, as well. And uh, yeah, our trends on late night ball games, we put a lot of extra stuff on there, so be sure to jump on Twitter. All right, let's get to your free play today. Uh, did I tell you everything here? WNBA, soccer, uh, no games until Friday, horse racing, baseball, golf, three tournament selections for the Scottish Open. MMA will have a seven unit selection this week, uh, weekend, um, fight night on July 9th on Saturday, three selections, and Korean baseball, winning last year and a winning season this year. Your free play today is I like the Mets run line today. It goes kind of early, and I think the Mets run line will give you a. I think the Mets run line here uh, will give you a decent dog money, maybe, or even money at least because the juice is so high. Look, Miami comes off a nice 2-5 to five loss yesterday. I get that. They've won five in a row. They could bounce back. But Miami only had um, – they're only two games uh, from 500. They're playing good baseball. I get that too. They just lost 2-5 to five to the Angels. They had won five games prior to that. The Angels had picked put out nine hits in their last game. The Mets come off a nice 8-3 win, and they took two of three from the Reds. Castano here goes here for the Reds. Um, you know, goes here for the Marlins, I should say. Castano went five innings, four hits, and one run against Washington his last game. But he's given up nine walks over his last four games. Remember, a walk is a hit. One base of a walk is the same thing as a single. People let walks gloss over. But don't forget, walk is a base runner, which is a single. He went seven innings, five hits, and two runs against the Mets last time. So the Mets have success. Uh, I think the Mets have success here. I think they'll get to see him again. I think he'll do much better. Trevor Williams here. He's a big public favorite. I get it. He went three innings, five hits, and five runs against a good Texas team. He gave up three home runs in his last game. He didn't pitch well in that game. I just think he pitches better today. This is a guy that pitched well against the Dodgers and St. Louis, both good teams. It's a good opportunity for him to have a solid bounce back here. And therefore, I'll take the Mets run line as your free play. An extra lean for you. I want, to, I want you to keep an eye on Chicago uh, in the WNBA and Indiana under. And that game goes off at 7 o'clock. The line opened up at 169 and went down to 167.5. Look, I think Chicago's got a good opportunity to bounce back here. They lost 78 to 81 against Minnesota. This is a team that had lost to Indiana previously, 89 to 87. I don't see them losing again. Uh, and at the same time, Indiana gave up 95 points to Seattle in their last game, a poor defensive performance. Last time they gave up 99 points to Phoenix, they immediately bounced back and gave up 73 against Seattle. So they're a pretty good defensive team where they can play defense at times. And I think it's a good opportunity to take the under with Chicago on the bounce back, with Indiana having a bad defensive game. I think the under kind of makes sense here. And note that the under uh, is also... 
yeah, the under on a Chicago bounce back traditionally hits around 62%. So I want you to keep an eye on that. All right, that's what we have for you guys. YouTube Premium got good two, two, two good thoughts for you. And uh, they are going to be on um, New York and Phoenix in the WNBA. And we're also going to talk about the Miami uh, and the Mets as well. So that's what we have for you guys. So if you guys are doing well, please take a moment to like and subscribe. You need Cowboy working hard for you every single day.